Hello and welcome to the Listen to My Radio video streaming tutorial series. In this tutorial we will be taking a look at the control panel you will use with the service and what its different features are. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is bring up the email you received from us when you bought the video streaming package. Uh, the email contains several pieces of information that you will need to log into the control panel. Uh, that's the panel URL, the username and the password. The email you receive should look something like this and under new account information you will see panel URL. Click on the panel URL link and it will take you to a page that looks something like this. Now use the username and password to log in. Please note that if you are having trouble logging in, uh, you should try to type the username and password in instead of copying them because sometimes it happens that users copy a blank space along with the username or password and that prevents them from logging in. So if you are tra having trouble logging in, please try typing in both the username and password. After you are logged in to the account, the first thing you should do is go to the account option in the upper right corner where you should set up two options. Scroll down until you see time zone and language. Uh, the time zone basically tunes the time displayed in the control panel to your local time. In my case that's GMT1, so let's go ahead and select Europe, for example, uh, Europe, Paris. As for language, you can change the language of the control panel by selecting a new language here. By default, that's English, but you can also select Dutch, German, Portuguese, or Spanish. Um, to make any changes, you have to first enter your current password into the first field here and then make any changes you want, then just click update. If you don't enter the password, you won't be able to make any changes, so make sure to do that. After you have set up the account settings here, click on services in the upper right corner, which will take you to the service overview page. Once you're on the service overview page, you have several options for controlling your stream as well as getting general information about it. The first tab you are on here is the general tab. And on the left here, it shows information like your service status, which in our case is online and disk usage. And on the right, depending on whether you are broadcasting or not, it shows either uh, stream information like it does for us now or the connection details you need to start streaming. Uh, the next tab up here is Media Player. Here you can see an example of what the Media Player looks like and also on the right here you have the HTML embed code that you can use to put a player like this onto your website. The next tab here is GYP Statistics which basically uh, where your viewers are from and what uh, clients they use for viewing your station and so on. The next tab here is uh, GeoIP Map, which does a similar thing to GeoIP Statistics, only instead of giving you a list of your viewer locations, you get uh, them on a visual representation of a map. The next tab here is Data Transfer. This one isn't that important since our packages uh, don't limit bandwidth, but you can use it as a representation of how much viewership has grown. But um, probably much better measure for this is the usage tab here. Under usage, you can see different statistics related to your account. In this case, you can see traffic usage over uh, specific periods of time. That's the last 24 hours, last five weeks and last 12 months. You can also see the amount of viewers you have had over the same uh, time periods, that is 24 hours, 5 weeks and 12 months. Now we can return to the general tab and proceed to the control and features options. The 
first option here is configure which controls most aspects of the service. Since this is just an overview we will take a look at only a few of the features available here but we will cover other features more extensively in future tutorials. On the general tab here the most interesting feature for the majority of users is the live broadcast and FTP password feature which you can use to change the live broadcast and FTP password. To make a change just uh, enter your new password here and afterwards click on update configuration. The next tab here shows the limits of your account. Uh, here you can see the maximum bitrate allowed uh, to be used on your account, how many users can connect to your uh, server, basically how many uh, viewers you can have at once. The bandwidth, since uh, our service provides unlimited bandwidth, this is represented by a bunch of nines here. This quota shows how many megabytes of storage you can use on our server. Before we switch to the next tab, just another note about the bitrate. The bitrate listed in your account is the combined bitrate of both your audio and video feed in the broadcasting software. That means if you, for example, have a package of a bitrate of 560 and you select the video bitrate of 400, you have 160 left for the audio bitrate. So the bitrate listed in the package is the combined bitrate of the audio and video in your broadcasting software. Just something that you should note. If you try to select a higher bitrate, it will cause problems in um, terms of turning your server off. So make sure that you don't go over the combined bitrate of your package. Next tab here is feature. The most interesting thing here is GYP country locking. Here you can enable your service to only be viewable in a number of countries. And you can then specify the countries you want your service to be available in here which are separated by a comma. For example, uh, Great Britain would be GP, then comma, then uh, if you want uh, your stream to be viewable in the United States, you enter US, then if you want it to be viewable in Germany, you set a comma and uh, then uh, DE, and so on. If you made any changes here, then just click on update configuration and your changes will be done. Uh, for now we'll skip the relay option here and go straight to plugin. Under plugin you can change the service type. We will cover the service type individually in each uh, future tutorial. Another interesting option here is hotlink denial domain which you can use to lock your stream so it's only viewable on your own website. In which case you just enter the domain of your website here and the stream will only be viewable on your website. After you have made any changes like always click on update configuration to apply. The next option under control here is restart which as the name implies restarts your server. Uh, most of the time you won't be using this feature but if your server starts acting up or if you have some kind of problem with the service a restart might fix it. The last option here under control is stop. Uh, if you click on that, it will stop your service and disconnect both the broadcaster, if you are broadcasting live, and all your listeners. Sometimes this can be useful if you want to shut down your server completely for whatever reason. Under features, uh, you have three options, build playlist, file manager, and player links. Uh, the names are pretty much self-explanatory and as far as using them we will explain a build playlist and file manager in future tutorials. The last option that we will explain right now is player links. So go ahead and click on player links. Under player links you are provided with the links that can be used to view your broadcast. There are different formats for different kinds of players and you have the option to embed them on your website by using the HTML embed code on the right of each player. 
Uh, in addition to just the player links, there are several other widgets for your website available. You can use the HTML, HTML integration widget uh, to display the status of your service on your website. The Google Maps widget displays your current viewers on a map and the top 10 countries widget displays the top 10 countries based on the number of viewers your stream has from those countries. That's it for this tutorial. For other tutorials on how to use our premium video service, please see our knowledge base.